Welcome to freshman year, the year everyone doesn't want to repeat. But why is that? Is it because there's one big misunderstanding? Or maybe it was because someone was feeling jealous or maybe even envious. Or maybe it was because of someone's ego. Well, no matter the reason, it definitely grew this big, happy group of friends apart. But how? All started when Kinsley felt that her boyfriend, Micah, was falling in love with Arya. She couldn't let that happen. She couldn't let her relationship crumble. So she thought of a devious plan with her best friend, Tara, to separate them. But, of course, Kinsley didn't want to get her paws dirty, so she had someone do the dirty work for her. And what better candidate would be than Paisley, who's gullible and easily to manipulate. It fit perfectly, and so the plan started. Kinsley knew exactly how to get under Arya's skin, which was through her sister Claire that she was very protective over. So Kinsley wrote some very distasteful notes, and as told, Paisley put them in the locker without getting caught. Kinsley wasn't the smartest pet around, so she thought only Claire would read it and then show Arya. Well, that just wasn't the case. Claire showed everyone, and everyone immediately became concerned and confused on who would do this to Claire and why. But with no clues and no evidence, no one had any idea on who it was. That was until one day Arya decided to stalk Claire's locker and found out that it was Paisley who was putting the notes in Claire's locker. And so with this information, she decided not to tell Claire, but Nikki and Chase, who ended up calling her a liar and not believing her. And then they told Carter and Maddie, who believed Arya, and well, that's where we are today. Look, all I'm saying is that I'm sorry for not coming over to your house last night. I got busy with some chores and my mom wouldn't let me go out. Yes, but we've been planning that movie night for weeks. It was literally our date. We haven't been on a date in weeks, I, I know. Can you please just forgive me and let's plan something else? Yeah, sure. Come on, Nikki, don't be like that. Hey, you two. What's going on? I'm in the doghouse. He was supposed to come over last night and do a movie night, but he got stuck with chores. I did. Which chore was it? Was it on Call of Duty or was it on Apex Legends? I really can't remember anymore. Don't start, Nikki. Okay, then. Well, anyways, what's going on with you two? Nothing much. I'm just back in the same math class with Micah. He won't even bat an eye at me anymore because of Kinsley. Just talk to him i know but it's his girlfriend what would you do if some girl randomly came up to you and said that chase and her were buddies i mean i'm very open-minded oh come on you would react the same i would not you're very overprotective i really doubt that i'm not talking to you right now okay What's up with you, Claire? You're not talking. Yeah, that's a little weird for Claire's standards. She's just going through something right now. Where'd you get that jacket from? Oh yeah, remember that girl that pied her in the face? Arya! Wait, you're wearing that girl's jacket? Why? I mean, Nikki has a point. She did pie you in the face. It's a long story. It's mostly because Serenity begged her to forgive her. And then they became like friends or something. Well, let's hope friends. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean... Come on, think about the elephant in the room. Are you guys an item? You know she might not be comfortable in answering that. We all know how society frowns upon, you know. Okay, can we can we change the conversation? No, I just want to know why some girl pied you in the face and now you're wearing her jacket. Look, she pied me in the face, I forgave her. We're friends, moving on. Friends wear each other's jackets? Okay, babe, you can cut it out now. Hey, Claire. What is everyone staring at me like that for? Well, considering you're wearing a full-blown gown at school, that might partake in the reason. Is that Louis Vuitton? Yeah, why are you wearing that? Do we have pictures today? It's literally the second day of sophomore year. No. 
It was just a question. Claire, what do you think? I mean, it's yellow. It matches your fur. And it matches your eyes. And lace looks pretty on you. And, okay, Claire, that's enough. I was just giving her a compliment. I know, but shut up. So that's what's going on. What's going on? She's question- Nikki, that's enough. Seriously, come on. Yeah, babe. Seriously, cut it out. I'm literally saying what everybody's thinking. What? I mean, it's obvious. Claire's wearing her jacket. She's wearing a freaking ball gown. Nikki! Okay, that's enough. Seriously? I think I should go. Serenity, wait. <laughs> nice going, Nikki. I told you to cut it out. And I did. Kind of. <sighs> Serenity, wait. Serenity, stop. I literally have apologized and everything. I'm already still trying to get you to completely forgive me without calling me weird. I apologize, does that even matter? Look, please forgive my friends and my sister. They literally are just trying to protect me. I know, Claire, but you're not understanding. How long is this going to go on? What do you mean? I mean, how long are your friends and your sister and your family gonna hold this grudge on me. I messed up, okay? But I wish I could take it back, but I can't. I know you can't, but I know you've forgiven me. But that doesn't matter. You're just going to have to convince your friends to forgive me. I don't know how to do that. They all have minds of their own. Claire, just, just what? Let me have some time to think, okay? I gotta go to detention anyways. This early? What did you even get detention for? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Now tell me. I threw Kinsley up against the locker when you wouldn't forgive me. Serenity. I gotta go. Will you still meet me at lunch? Yeah, sure. <sighs> for detention today, you're not just gonna sit here, sleep. You will actually be doing work. So in front of you on your desk, you see a textbook. I want you both to read pages one through eight and answer the questions on page nine. So once you're done with that, turn it in to me. I will check your answers and then you will be able to leave. So you two have a lot of reading and a lot of questions to answer. So I'd give to it. I gotta go to the copy room real quick to print a lesson out for tomorrow's class. Do not leave. So, what's your name? Aren't we supposed to be doing the assignment? You mean pretend to read the assignment and then take the answer key on the back of the book and write it in the questions? Oh, how did you know that? I've been in detention multiple times. So anyways, I'm Kane. What's your name? It's Serenity. Cool name, Serenity. You seem like the goody two-shoes. What's got you in here? Either Kinsley jumped up against the locker. Badass. I know not to double cross you now. <laughs> It's first time offense. That's what I said when I first got in here. Well, what did you do? Well, you know, I just fell asleep during class. I've been trying to be a better student and stayed up the night before studying for a test. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Am I boring you at all? No, I just want to get out of here. You can't even leave until she gets back and she won't be back for another hour. I thought she was just going to the copy room. The second floor copy room where Mr. Jerickson is and where she gets her drugs. She does drugs? Oh yeah, the hard stuff too. It's so crazy. Sometimes you gotta cope through the pain. Cope through the pain? Well, not everybody here lives with a silver spoon in their mouth. Yeah, but how did you know that? I mean, it's totally not because of that dress you're wearing. Where's it from? Prada? Oh boy, no. Texas Louis Vuitton. So close. You're not wrong, but when you have a mother with high expectations. Oh yeah, totally. Why are you wearing that dress anyways? I'm trying to impress someone. Oh yeah? Who is he? But you don't want to say who it is or? It's a she. Oh, oh. I did not see that coming. Good for you. Thanks. Can I see your pencil for a second? Yeah, I'm done anyways. And just like that, we're done. All right, you two. We're both done. What? That, that's impossible. Uh, let me see here. Hmm. What about yours? Oh, did you two share answers? Nope, we've been quiet this entire time. All right, then you two are free to go. Say so, yeah, I trouble you two, especially you, Anderson. I'll try. Shall we? Hey, Maddie, where's your food? Oh, it's right here. Get that 
off the table the teachers can see. It doesn't count when you got it from the teacher's desks. Like this one. Yeah, don't worry if I ever want alcohol or drugs, I come immediately to you too. Hey guys, so I'm late. Where were you? My mom made me a doctor appointment this morning and we stopped and we got Starbucks. What'd you go to the doctor for? Just... A checkup? A checkup. Yeah, Aria, people go to the doctor for checkups. Keep with the program. Whatever. I don't wanna know what's going on, do I? There's nothing going on. Is there, Paisley? No, there's not. Right. So where's your sister, Aria? I don't see her anywhere in here. Um... Hey, have y'all seen Claire? I haven't seen her since this morning. What about you, Nikki? Honestly, I don't know. She might be mad at me for what happened this morning. I still don't know why she's not here. We'll keep an eye out for her. Great, thanks. Speak of the devil. Where did you say we were gonna sit? Um, where is she going? Hey, girls. I'll scoot over so you two can sit. Hey, Serenity. You know these people? Yeah, I actually met Kane today and he seems pretty nice. I don't know about her though, but I'm up to making new friends if you are. Yeah, it's totally fine with me. Okay, then I'll sit next to her. I'll sit at the end. I am all for independence, but what did we do? I wish I knew. Maria? We did nothing besides what Nikki said this morning. Nikki? Yeah, this might be my fault. Go apologize to her. I don't want to get near those people. They look scary. Look, just talk to her later. All right, I will. Thank you. Paisley, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Are you, are you sure? Do you need a hug? Carter gives really good hugs. Look, I'm just trying to cheer you, Carter. Oh, dog. Just take the hug. Okay, okay. You spilled her Starbucks. Doesn't matter, we lost Claire. I'm glad you and your friend got to join us, Serenity. I didn't get your name. It's Claire, I didn't get yours. Oh yeah, right, I'm Kane. Oh, and I want you all to meet my childhood best friend, Blake. It is so nice to meet you. Yeah, of course, it's nice to meet you, Blake. Nice to meet you. I want you all to know I'm having a party soon. You all should definitely come. Oh yeah, when is it? Probably tomorrow night. My parents are out of town. I'm not really a party person. Oh, come on. It's nothing big and grand. It's just gonna be at my house. Invite your friends, so I always enjoy the company. I don't like having the same old boring people at the party. Hey. And speak for yourself, Kane. Some of us get bored. Ah, oh, come on. My parties are great. Serenity? Hmm. Oh, come on, Serenity. I bet your friend here can be your escort. Hmm? Oh. Well, when you put it like that, I'd love to be her escort. I mean, everybody needs an escort to a party. Come on, Kane, you're single too. You need an escort. Oh, please, I don't need an escort. You might need one. Oh, please, I can be her escort. Oh, Kane, you know it'll never be like that. I mean, come on, it's always worth a shot. So y'all coming? What time? Starts at eight. Consider this our RSVP. Ooh, spicy. You excited for this eternity? Eternity? Yeah, it's a nickname I gave her. Oh my dog, that is absolutely adorable. Um. <laughs> well, I see somebody got a new group of friends. I need to be alone. What was that about? I wouldn't worry about it. We all know how Paisley is. You know how Paisley is. Don't start, Maddie. We don't want to repeat a last year. Whatever. Kinsley, we need to talk. What is it, Paisley? Me and Tara are both literally in the middle of something. Claire's right getting too close to Serenity. This is not what I had in plan. And I believe keeping your end of the bargain is to make sure that this didn't happen. I am keeping my end of the bargain. What is the issue? I heard them talking about a party tomorrow. Do you think we can execute the plan there? I don't know about a party. It might not fit into what I have planned. I mean, come on, wouldn't it be perfect? It's a public setting and all we're doing is pulling a prank. Yes, but everything has to go smoothly. When are you coming back to school? I'll be back once me and Tara get all the supplies for the plan. Yeah, bye. Hey, Paisley, have you seen Kinsley around? Oh, she's not at school today. Weren't you just talking with her on the phone just now? Is she skipping with Tara? Because I noticed Tara isn't here either. Listen, I have no idea where they are, but I have to get to class. 
Whoa, this place is amazing. So why did you invite me over again? Hey moms. Hey sweetie, how was school? Is this the girl you were talking about? Yeah, it was good and this is my friend. Claire. The similarities are uncanny. At this point, it's just too cute. What similarities? Perhaps any snacks or anything? I'll have a juice. Okay, what about you, Claire? Uh, juice for me, too. Alright, we'll be right back. Come on, honey, let's give him some space. I'm coming. So, do you like my home? Yeah, it's like beautiful here well thank you they're both interior designers so this is kind of like their profession in a way yeah i totally understand why you want to sit uh, oh uh, sure i met on the couch dingus <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're back with you girls some juices i'll just put them up here we should probably give them some time right we'll be in the other room in the kitchen thanks moms so not to be weird or anything, but are your parents? Yeah, so my biological mom is the white short hair. My father had left us, so she got a girlfriend. I call them both my moms since they've been dating for like 10 years. That makes sense. That's pretty awesome considering our society. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, if you take society's norms about everyone being against the gays, I mean, yeah, considering that you all look so happy, although it is upsetting, they just don't care enough anymore to care about what people think. They just do what they do. That's amazing to see them not care like that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So now another question. Are you am what? You know. Does it bother you if I am? No, 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 I was just, I was just curious. Well, although I do have two moms, they let me be open to my own sexuality. I just haven't figured it out yet. I figured that was the case. What do you mean by that? I mean, not to be rude or anything, but it's kind of obvious. How? I mean, Nikki is right. I'm wearing your jacket. Like, does that symbolize anything to you? The question is, does it symbolize anything to you? I mean, of course it does. Let me turn the tables. What is yours? I'm just still kind of thinking about it. And it's just the fact that I don't know. Yeah, just don't be afraid to experience, you know, other people. It's kind of how you're going to find out. It's why it took me so long, I know. I really just need some time, honestly. If I get where you're coming from, where I'm coming from, it kind of recircles back to the jacket. It's literally just my jacket. I don't understand. It just clicked for you, didn't it? Yeah. It did. Oh, does it change anything? Well, it doesn't change anything for me. Does it change anything for you? What? I mean, um, like, if you think I'm flirting with you, I don't mean to. I, I mean, <sighs> yes, I like you. I knew it. I just didn't realize how strong my, you know. I know, it's okay. I, I just need some time. Yeah, of course, I, I get it. Is that why you wore the dress today? <laughs> Serenity, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Serenity, are you crying? I just need to be alone right now. Serenity, I swear, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. No, it's okay. Just take your time and figure it out. Serenity, I think you should be leaving, Claire. Wait, what? Why? Claire, it's time to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, well, I guess I'll be going then. Call me whenever you figure it out. You know I haven't been open like that. I know, Claire, but there was just a part of me that thought I'll figure it out. I'm sorry. Just go. Honey, what happened? Oh, honey. It's okay. <laughs>